this is Chicho. I just want to give another update regarding the language math series. Now, a few months ago in a previous video I mentioned that I was going to take two or three months off and you know try to get everything done in one shot and take it up to uh, an introductory level of calculus anyway, get everything done all the way up to there. Uh, that's not going to happen. What I want to talk about is going to take a lot longer in two months or three months or six months for that matter. And uh, the sections are growing, sort of getting a life from so and so. I'm going to continue to make the videos as long as I can and um, work my way towards getting to an introductory level calculus. Now, the next section I wanted to get done was uh, going to be talking more about zero and infinity. It was going to be a section on so on for zero and infinity. Um, in series one, I made a you know, quick introduction video on the concept of zero infinity, which was four minutes, five minutes, and that's just a you know, teaser. So I was going to get into it a lot more detail, but I realized uh, I put, the, I put the whole thing together, but I realized there's one thing I couldn't get around. There was an obstacle there that I couldn't, uh, an, an idea that it, you need to be able to deal with uh, zero infinity, which is basically trying to compare uh, everything and nothing, you know, um, infinity and, well, nothing again, uh, was uh, basically the most important symbol in the language of mathematics which was the equal sign so i was missing um you know concepts that are related to the equal sign so i couldn't deal with zero infinity so before we get into zero infinity that section the next section coming up which i'm going to do is um, going to be talking about the equal sign which is literally i just realized this while i was you know thinking about zero infinity was I you know just dawned on me that the equal sign is literally the most important symbol in language of mathematics and directly you know related with the equal sign that you know it's embedded in there is the concept of units so the next section coming up is going to be talking about the equal sign and an introduction at least on the concept of units which is really just a property of the equal sign so uh, just want to give a heads up that uh, the next section coming up is going to be zero uh, is going to be equal sign in units and then we're going to get into zero and infinity and that should be that's going to take me a while to get through uh, so anybody that wanted anything else done uh, before these two units I'm sorry but these two have to be dealt with before we can go on to other things uh, specifically specifically getting into functions which is relating one thing to another or multiple things to multiple other things and to be able to relate things, you need you need the equal sign. You need to understand what the equal sign means and uh, everything that it's dependent on, and and that's sort of related to uh, Robert Anton Wilson's uh, maybe um, uh, maybe logic, which the equal sign is really dependent on the units you're talking about and what you're comparing and what your assumptions are when it comes to one side of the equation as compared to the other side of the equation. Okay, That sort of gives you an idea of where I'm going with this. So that's a heads up. That's what's going to be coming up uh, in the next section. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I've got to lay it out. I've laid out a little bit. I'm going to start shooting pretty soon, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, so that's where we're going with it. Um, so I hope that's cool. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next batch of videos. Now there's um, a couple of things I, I wanted to mention before uh, ending this uh, update. Uh, one of them is uh, if you notice any videos disappearing from YouTube or any other video sharing website, please let me know. I just found out last week that one of the videos was deleted from YouTube. I didn't delete it. Hopefully it was just a glitch on YouTube, but uh, lately they have been deleting uh, thousands of videos from their site. Uh, and if that continues, uh, well, I'm going to have to keep on reloading them. So if you see any math videos uh, removed from YouTube, please let me know and I will replace them or any other video sharing website. On that note, if you are active on any other video sharing website, right now I've got an account on YouTube and Daily Motion. So if you are specifically, if you know of any other video uh, sharing website that I should be loading the stuff on, the videos on, please let me know and I will load them on there. Um, because who knows, uh, you know, they might not delete their videos, okay? So that's the first thing. If you see any videos deleted, please let me know. The second thing I want to mention is uh, 
if you find any mistakes in any of the work that I'm doing, please let me know. Um, just a few days ago, I got, I got an email about uh, one of the answers I provided my website, uh, and they corrected one of my mistakes. And I do make a lot of mistakes. And um, I think this was either the second or third mistakes I've made on some of the solution sets I've provided on my site. So if you do see any mistakes in my videos or in the solutions I provide or exercises or anywhere, please let me know and I will correct them. And uh, credit to, I think it was Rocker921, I can't remember, I should have written down the name, but I think it was Rocker921 um, for posting the comment on the video that was deleted. I've already reloaded the video on and it was the, uh, proof uh, proof involving lines I think it was number one or something like this uh, you know maybe a uh, photon or a gamma ray or something like this hit it uh, hit YouTube's database on multiple databases and deleted the video I have no idea but if you do find any videos deleted please let me know if you find me making any mistakes please let me know and if there's any video sharing websites that you are on that uh, you think the videos should be there, that you're more active there, please let me know and I will try to load them on there, okay? So, I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next section, which is gonna be uh, the equal sign and units. And then after that, we'll go into zero and infinity. Awesome, we'll talk later, bye-bye.